There's a bum in the air. That's what they think of us. Now, there's a lovely, massive troop of baboons here. They've just moved into... A lot of them have moved into the, into the edge of the forest. And the little ones were being very, very cute. And I think we might find some more out on the edge. But see the bigger ones out in the grassland, mostly feeding on insects and uh, grubs out there, but also the occasional grass seed. And you see the warthogs around as well. But we're going to keep birding because that's what we're doing this morning. We've got some helmeted guinea files on the edge of the, the forest as well. They just got chased a little bit by some of the babo younger baboons who are more full of the joy of life. I'm just listening. I can hear a very upset bird, but it's more than likely upset at the birds. It sounds like one of the, the warblers. But it's a, it's a bit of an alarm call. But quite deep in the forest. Okay, let's move on. Let's get a bit closer to the baboons that are out in the air pond. And uh, Tristan should know by now that I'll never be satisfied with the number of birds. There's always more to see. And uh, when Tristan sees another golden, I mean yellow-throated long claw, haha, that's going to get him going for sure. I remember the first time Tristan, he was incredibly excited. He was still working at Sibamiri and he phoned me to tell, tell me about the fact he had seen a golden pippet in the Sabi sands. And I had him going for a, while, a long time. So I was like, oh, you mean a yellow-throated long claw? Did you see another yellow-throated long claw? Oof. It was so fun. Just throwing the bait out there. Okay, so here we go. All, all the baboons are now sort of warmed up in the sunshine this morning. And it looks like the whole troop is actually heading back into the, into the forest. We're going to stop here. There we go. Oh, there's a tiny baby on the log. Don't run away, don't run away. A becker is wondering, what is the, the biggest animal baboons can hunt? Believe it or not, I've actually seen them hunt goats. <laughs> Um, it all, it's all, they are opportunists and they're incredibly intelligent animals. So if, if an opportunity arrives, they will take it. Uh, I mean, they feed off birds, eggs, baby impala, baby tommies, baby topi if they can get a hold of them. Um, mostly the adults are too fast, but I actually have seen them take an adult goat, which is a big animal. Yeah, are you? Guilty conscience. You too small to eat a goat. Yes, you are. They are one of the, they are absolutely, f oh, fight in the tree. As a big male was chasing a little one, it managed to get right down below him to the edge where he couldn't get to. They are incredibly fascinating. They've got very interesting social structures as well. So a big male baboon is called a dog baboon. I just want to go a bit further forward where we got get the ones in the tree. Uh, a big male baboon is called a dog baboon, uh, obviously with their long face. So they, they do have quite a canine appearance to them. And uh, the, 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 the troop will be dominated by a sort of a group of big male baboons. Um, that are, are, are dominant over the troop, but it is not a set position. There is constant uh, Testing to see if Another baboon can sort of another male might be able to jump a notch up the hierarchy and uh, The females have their own separate set of, hi set of hierarchy, which is also very 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 set so a low-ranking female will often try cuddle up and give favor by defleeing, giving food to um, to one of the big dominant dog baboons, and he will protect them from the attacks of the females who can be just as vicious as the males. Now, if any of the big males pick up a slight injury, uh, the other males will be quick, quick on it to try knock them down a few, a few spots in the, in the social hierarchy. 
They're absolutely fascinating animals. Rita's wondering whether lions and leopards ever hunt baboons. Now, yes, they do. Leopards are often considered to be one of baboons' biggest predators, which is a bit of a fallacy. So in areas where human beings have wiped out a lot of the leopards' natural foods, they have adapted to hunting baboons. But a big male baboon is a scary prospect. They're incredibly strong. Also, their canines are longer than a lion's, and they can do some serious damage. But one of the most fascinating hunts I've ever seen in my life um, was... open marshy areas with these tree islands so these little islands of trees and uh, the baboons were out in the grass and like they were this morning when the lions caught them and they managed to run to one termite mound that had three trees on it most of the troop it was a oh. screaming in the forest someone is getting a beating oh it's all over now No, nope. back at it. What is going on, you two? <laughs> anyway, sorry, I got sidetracked there by the screaming baboons. And uh, it was eight baboons got into these three little trees that were separate from the, the edge of the tree line, like the tree line we're looking at at the moment. And there was a big troop, over 100, 100 or so baboons. And uh, the, there was an absolute legend of a guide uh, who I used to work with um, in Botswana. His, his name was Steve Kualatala. And uh, what happened was that these baboons got into the into the tree while well, the rest of the troop managed to get onto the edge and uh, there were two males that only got into these small croton thickets while the rest of them got all the way up to the top and uh, there was females and some sub-adults and as Steve described it afterwards which is the best way I can ever describe it and shame he passed away a few years ago but he said the baboons on the edge of the tree one would say jump another baboon would go don't jump another one would go lion another one would go where and jump don't jump lion and then shouting and the alarm calling his baboons too and uh Eventually, one of the females jumped out of the big jackalberry tree, and the, the lionesses were on her, and they whacked her. And the baboon dying is, is quite a nasty sound. But as that happened, one of the males, who was sitting in this very short bush next to the big tree trying to hide, got very upset, and he said, wah, wah, and he started shouting at the lions, and the lioness just jumped up and grabbed him out of the tree. The second male was the only survivor, so the rest of those... Um, six baboons that were in the tree, they tried to leap out and run across the plains to where their friends were with all the advice being given. Jump! Don't jump! Lions will eat you! Jump! Don't jump! And um, eventually that one male, after that one got grabbed out of the bush next to him, he just did this. Lions were off his family. But uh, that was probably one of the most fascinating sightings I've ever seen. Um, with any animals, not just baboons.